In this video, we'll do a demonstration of how Thevenin's theorem works. To do this, we'll create the Thevenin equivalent of the circuit used in the lab video relative to two terminal characteristics, and measure the characteristics of that Thevenin equivalent. We'll see that the characteristics of the Thevenin equivalent are the same as those measured for the original circuit in our previous video. Thus, the behavior of the two circuits is identical from the standpoint of anything that we choose to connect to their terminals. Since we're relying on the results from the two terminal characteristics video for this chapter, it's strongly recommended that you review that video before watching this video. This is the circuit that we used in our video on voltage current relationships for two terminal networks. In that video, we measured the voltage current relationship for the circuit and plotted it. We found that the open circuit voltage, the y-intercept of the plot of voltage versus current, was about 0.63 volts. We also determined that the equivalent resistance, the slope of the voltage current relationship, was approximately 5.3 kilo ohms. In this video, we'll implement the Thevenin equivalent to this circuit and show that the Thevenin equivalent and the original circuit have the same voltage current relationship at their terminals. Analysis of our original circuit results in the Thevenin equivalent circuit shown here. The Thevenin resistance is 5.3 kilo ohms and the open circuit voltage is 0.63 volts. These parameters match the slope and y-intercept of the voltage current characteristics of the original circuit that we measured previously. This is good news. Since the Thevenin equivalent circuit is nothing more than a physical representation of the voltage current relationship for the original circuit. Now we can implement this Thevenin equivalent circuit and demonstrate that it provides the same voltage current characteristics at its terminals as the original circuit. Actually creating a physical implementation of the Thevenin circuit is relatively unusual. The Thevenin circuit is typically used as an analysis or design tool. Our goal in this video, however, is to get some insight into the Thevenin circuit itself rather than to actually use the circuit for its intended purpose. Here's the Thevenin circuit as we will implement it. We'll use channel 1 of the waveform generator to create the 0.63 volt source. A potentiometer will be used to implement the 5.3 kilo ohm resistor simply to avoid creating a network of fixed resistors with the desired resistance. Channel 2 of our oscilloscope will be used to measure the voltage at the terminals of the Thevenin circuit. Now we're going to use our automated approach to measure and plot the voltage current characteristic of the circuit. To do this, we need to apply a time-varying voltage at the terminals of this network and calculate the current going into the circuit using a math channel on our oscilloscope. The circuit we're going to use to do this is shown here. We're going to add a 1 kilo ohm resistor in series with the Thevenin circuit, use channel 2 of our waveform generator to apply a triangular voltage signal to the terminals of the overall circuit, Channel 1 of our oscilloscope will be used to measure the voltage across this resistor, so the current is just the channel 1 voltage divided by this resistance, 1000. However, if we want to export our data to a file for processing, it'll be helpful to have more sensitivity in our measurement. Therefore, let's divide the channel 1 voltage by 1, and then the resulting current will be in milliamperes. So I, we'll say, is channel 1 over 1, and that's automatically in milliamps. The trick simply allows us to have more significant figures in the current data that we export to our file. Now that we have the voltages at the terminals of the Thevenin circuit, channel 2 of our oscilloscope, and the current going into the Thevenin circuit, we can create an XY plot to directly display the voltage current characteristic of the circuit itself. You may have noticed that the added 1 kilo ohm resistor here is not strictly speaking necessary. We could measure the voltage across this resistor and use that resistance to calculate the desired current. However, I wanted to emphasize that the Thevenin equivalent circuit is generally treated like a black box and you'd normally not have access to the inside of this box to make measurements. You only know what's going on from what's happening at the terminals. Trying to maintain that frame of mind makes us resort to another resistor outside of the black box to determine the current. Here's our implemented circuit. This potentiometer is used to implement the 5.3 kilo ohm Thevenin resistance. 
This is our one kilo ohm fixed resistance that we'll use to infer current from. We're applying power to the circuit with channel two of the AWG here. We're using this channel here to provide our 0.63 volt fixed seven in voltage. Channel one of our scope is used to measure the voltage across this resistance between this terminal and this terminal. We've used a jumper wire to jump from here to here to allow you to see the connections. Channel two of the oscilloscope is used to measure the voltage across this resistance. Here's our oscilloscope window that we've set up to make our measurements. Channel one and channel two are here. Our math channel is simply channel one. Remember, we're inferring the current in milliamps from strictly the voltage across the one kilo ohm resistor. Our waveform generators are set up here. Channel one has the fixed 630 millivolt signal. Channel two is our triangular wave with a four volt amplitude and a one hertz frequency. If we turn on power, run our oscilloscope, we get this as our voltage current relationship. Let's go ahead and export this voltage current relationship to Excel where we can analyze it and determine the Y intercept and the slope. So click on export. We'll save it there as our demo file. Now we can open Excel and analyze our data. In Excel, we'll open our CSV file. We use the file demo. We don't need the heading. I'll select those and delete those rows. Now we want to create an XY plot out of this data. Let's insert a scatter plot. There's our data. If we go into Layout, set up a trend line. We'll use a linear trend line. Now let's see what the equation is. Display equation on chart. So we have y is equal to 0.624, which is almost exactly 0.63, which is our y intercept, and 5.34 kilo ohms would be our resistance or the slope of this xy plot.